My recommendation for 2011's Keep Toronto Reading campaign is a pair of books by the author and artist Lauren Redness. In the KARBC's most recent Civilians Read podcast, we talked a lot about the graphic novel and its storytelling possibilities, and I think that Lauren Redness shows one such avenue with her books Century Girl, A Hundred Years in the Life of Doris Eaton Travis, Last Living Star of the Zigzal Follies, and Radioactive, Marie and Pierre Curie, A Tale of Love and Fallout. In these books, Redness uh, moves beyond the historical fiction found in uh, Chester Brown's Louis Riel to bring the graphic form more fully into the realm of nonfiction. And she does this by marrying everything you love about biography with all the best features of the art book. So if you, as I do, are a fan of uh, both vintage fashion and the performing arts, Century Girl is sure to please. It chronicles the very, very full life of Doris Eaton Travis from her birth through her years as a dancer in the Ziegfeld Follies to her second, third, and fourth lives as a teacher in the Arthur Murray Dance Studios, as a television host, and as a septuagenarian university freshman, as well as her eventual return to the theater. Um, Redness tells Doris's story primarily through collage. And she draws on a wealth of Doris's own photographs and newspaper clippings. Radioactive, for which Redness designed her own typeface and uses, though not exclusively, uh, beautiful uh, techniques, cyanotype printing, as seen here. Um, I think Radioactive is even more ambitious. It tells the story of Marie and Pierre Curie, how they met and fell in love, Marie's life after Pierre's premature death, but more importantly, uh, Radioactive tells the story of the couple's groundbreaking research and it charts the effects, both good and ill, that said research has had on the modern world. I think that Redness's passages on the Manhattan Project and the Nevada uh, test bombing as well as nuclear disasters like Hiroshima, Chernobyl, and Three Mile Island. All of these passages seem especially timely given the situation in Fukushima. Um, but I think what's perhaps most interesting about Radioactive is how even in the face of the incredibly painful physical toll of their research and all the misuses of their research, if you will. The Curies and their children never seemed to lose faith in radiation's potential to improve human lives. And I think that was very, that was really interesting. Uh, Lauren Redness's Century Girl and Radioactive, they're both real treats. They present compelling life stories in visually stimulating ways, and I highly recommend both of them. And, you know, wonder of all wonders, the Toronto Public Library has multiple copies of both. So you can uh, run out and pick up both tonight and read them and enjoy them as much as I do.